That is a big change for Facebook because back in the day, I've always been told that Facebook isn't one of the places that you really want to do a lot of advertising because even if you promote your stuff on your, your home page, you know, you, you expect the people that follow, you know, your friends and family to see it, they won't see it. A very limited amount will actually see what you put on Facebook that you had to pay to play essentially for people to even see uh, your posts on Facebook a lot of the times. So it mm -hmm. sounds like they're kind of changing the algorithm, opening up a bit because they want people to come in here and experience what Facebook is all about and see things that get them excited. Go to this uh, person's page, subscribe, and start looking at all the wonderful things that they're creating, whether it be comic books like yourself or maybe uh, independent musician and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all about the content nowadays, Wes. Like, um, I, think, I think what really put them on the heels was when TikTok showed up and they started getting even more marginalized in the the creator space than they already were and they were seeing that it's like the attention is where the creators are and it's like where are the creators like uh, like there's someone on youtube who did like talking about facebook reels and they said that someone from facebook reached out to them uh, a while ago and they were doing research like you know some little quote unquote you know polls field studies just asking creators what is it that you're looking for in a platform and like she she told them straight up, hey, I'm at where the money is at. Like if you if your creators are getting paid, they're gonna be there creating content. And the where there's content, the users will follow. When the users follow your platform, you know, it blooms, it swells. Come on, Benny man. The kid is a L7 weenie.